I am now in Corel Painter 10, and uh, that's what I'm going to use to do the shadows and the highlights and everything to get that painty look. Um, I just like to use different programs. Anyways, I'm going to take the dropper tool, come over here to his skin color, and pick it. But when you try to pick it with the ink layer on top, it just comes out black, so you're going to want to click the eye next to it, and it'll make you go away. You click that, it'll give you your color over here. And then you click the eye tool again. And you'll have your color. So then I'm going to go over here to the thing, open up this color window, and move the cursor up and down. And it'll change the lightness and darkness of your skin tone. So I'm just going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to click this brush. And you have your brush selector up here. And you're going to click whatever the name of this thing is. I don't know. Gouage or gouch. I call it a gouch. Anyways, uh, that's what I use. And I used a bar cover brush. Um, it's basically the place where I want it to be. And a little bit. Right there. I'm going to come over here to the brush selector and I'm going to go to blenders. Okay. Now the blender that I use is a soft blender stone. Uh, 10. Once again, that's the size, but you can change the size. Um, you change the opacity and the bleed. If the bleed is all the way down to zero, it's going to be a... Like, and the opacity is all the way up, it's going to be more like the push tool that I was using before, and it just pushes the color. Okay. Um, if we have the bleed all the way up at 100, it's going to just blend to stuff like that, which I usually don't use. I like to put the bleed more at around 20s, in the 20s somewhere. And then the opacity about 70 something. That's usually how I have it. And then change the size according to what you're doing. So now I'm going to start blending this. And um, just making the shadows look softer and stuff. You have to have hard shadows, but you determine that yourself. Okay, so I didn't really draw the definition in my chin. I have to do it myself, so I had to be kind of careful with that. Um, also, once again, I'm using a tablet, so if you're using a mouse, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult I'm using a tablet so that the, you know, pressure, whatever I put on it, it's going to change the amount of push it gives to the brush and stuff, so, anyways, anyways, I'm going to keep doing this thingy, it's always awkward when I'm in the middle of doing something, I really don't have much to say, except for just do what I do, it's a little randomly placed one over here, it's just a keep the face from looking too white and highlights later so and highlights always go on top okay now for like the hair right here we're going to want a little bit harder of a shadow than we're doing with these other ones because the hair is right up close to his head, so the shadow's going to be a little bit harder, rather than just his, you know, face is round and everything, so his shadow's come out soft over here. Like this right here is going to be a little, a little harder. A little hard edge right there. Okay, so there's our basic shadows. Blended a little bit. Yeah, we got some over here in the glasses, but we can fix all that later. Um, now I'm going to go over here to the color selector and bring it 